Hello everybody. Welcome to our lesson. Today we have a problem solving on the topic the magnetic field of a loop. So this is the goal of the lesson. At the end of the lesson you will be able to use the equation for the magnetic field of a loop. Before we start solving uh, problems it will be useful to recall the previous topic. So we know that uh, at the center of a loop the magnitude of the magnetic field can be found using this equation and here for the number of turns i its current r it's the uh, radius of a loop let's start solving first problem as always let's start from the given So we know the number of turns is 50 and we know the current which flows through a loop it's 2 ampere and we know the magnetic field at the center of a loop it's 6 10 minus 4 Tesla and what we are asked we need to find the radius of a loop So let's write the equation m multiplied to mu zero i over two r. And now all we need is to put the numerical values into the equation. So b it's already given. It's six ten minus four. It's equal to m. It's fifty multiplied to mu zero it's four pi ten minus seven uh, the current it's two amperes and we don't know what is r so before I start calculation let's find what is r it's two multiplied to six ten minus 4 over 50 multiplied to 4 pi 10 minus 7 multiplied to 2 so let's simplify in order to calculate uh, this is 6 and it said that we can take p as 3 and we have here 2 so it will be to uh, that's it that's enough I think now here we have 10 minus 4 10 minus 7 we have thousand thousand over hundred so the result is r is equals to 10 meters as you see this is uh, easiest problem now let's go to the next level problem number two we have here two loops which has uh, the same center we call it concentric circular wires and the blue wire the blue loop has a uh, radius of r and the red one has a twice of that and the currents also are given 2i and i now let's start from the given we know that uh, let's do this the I will give the numerations the inner loop I will call first loop and the outer loop I will call the second loop so let's write the givens I know that first loop has a current of 2i for uh, the second loop has a current of i the radius of the first loop is r the radius of the second loop is 2r and also I know that the magnitude of the magnetic field from the first loop 
at point O is equal to 10 Tesla. And that's all we know. And now, what are we asked? A. We need to find the magnitude of this uh, magnetic field of second loop at point O. And we need to find the net magnitude of the magnetic field at that point. So let's start from the A part. Okay. B1 at point O is equal to mu0 i1 over 2r1 multiplied to the number of loop. So number of loop is 1 in both cases. So I can write that B1 0 is equal to mu 0 2i over 2r and finally b10 is equal to mu 0 i over r because 2 in the numerator and denominator cancelled out and from the given, I know that B10 is equal to 10 Tesla. And let's find B2O. This is mu0 i2 over 2 r2, number of loop of the second loop. It's also 1. Now, mu0 i over 2 to 2r multiplied to 1. So, b2o is equal to mu0 i over 4r. Or, I can write like this to be clear. 1 over 4 multiplied to mu zero i over r. This is the expression exactly same with the b10. So I know this is 10 tesla. It means that b2o is four times smaller than the b1o. So B2O, so it's equals to 10 over 4. And B2O is equals to 2.5 Tesla. And now, B part. We need to find B net. So, to find the net field at the center, here we need to know the direction of the magnetic fields from the first loop and the second loop. We can find it using right hand rule. So let's try to find the net magnetic, uh, the magnetic field of the first loop using right hand rule. So we see that the direction of the current of the first loop is counterclockwise from right hand rule and we can find that this will be directed towards us from the page and magnet and the direction of the uh, second loop we can find also from the right hand rule the direction of the currents of the second loop is clockwise and that's why the direction of the magnetic field will be into the page. So, first we have
towards us direction and for the second we have direction which is out to the page now the bigger uh, magnetic field is B10 we see that the direction of the magnet uh, di direction of the magnetic field is opposite if first is out of the page second is into the page that's why it will be B0 minus B10 minus B20 and it is 10 minus 2.5 so B net is 7.5 Tesla what about the direction it will take the direction of the first field that's it now the last and the third problem we have here semi circular loop and the, let's write the givens first of all current is 4 amperes the radius is 0 0.02 meters 2 centimeters and we need to find the magnitude of this semicircular loop what we know we know that magnitude of the loop is mu zero i over 2 r this is for the loop but what about the semi loop logically it must be half of the loop that's why this is equals to mu zero i over 4r multiplied to n now n mu zero i over 4r let's put the numerical values n we have one wire mu zero 4 pi 10 minus 7 the current which flows through the wire is 4 amperes and if we divide to the 4 multiplied to the radius 0 0.02 so let's cancel 4 in the denominator and 4 over 0 0.02 it's 200 and 200 multiplied to 3 it's 600 10 minus 7 and finally you can write that it is 6 10 minus 5 Tesla so this is the end of the lesson if you like it feel free to subscribe and share thank you